Hi, my name is Mark Cruz of Nikon Canada, and today I have in my hands the new Nikon D750. This is Nikon's newest full-frame camera, and thanks to a new design process and new materials, we're able to combine the best of both worlds. This is a DSLR that's smaller and lighter than the D610, while including many of the high-end features found in the D810. The new design of the D750 can be seen as soon as you pick the camera up. First off, the grip. Not only has the grip been lengthened by over 4 millimeters, making it more comfortable for your small finger, but the depth of the grip is significantly deeper by almost 7 millimeters, ensuring a secure and comfortable hand-holding experience regardless of your hand size. Once you look at the back of the camera, you'll see that the D750 is Nikon's first full-frame DSLR that has a tilting LCD screen. This 3.2-inch screen has the same resolution as the D810 and D4S, but can now tilt up to 90 degrees and down to 75 degrees. This is great for getting high or low-angled compositions while shooting both your stills and video. We chose this over the side-tilting vari-angle display to keep the side buttons in the same layout so people switching between different high-end Nikon DSLR bodies know where everything is by feel. Next, since the center of the monitor is nearly aligned with the optical axis, it helps with easy hand-holding and intuitive composition. Lastly, the three-axis hinge design strikes a perfect balance between ruggedness and being lightweight. Now let's look at some of the major features shared between the D750 and the D810. First, autofocus. The same 51-point Pro AF system is now found in the D750, complete with Group Area AF and F8 compatibility. One major improvement is that the D750 can now focus in even lower light conditions, equivalent to negative 3 EV. Now, since negative 3 EV is around the limit where the human eye can see details in the dark, the D750 has the same brighter prism and organic EL information display as the D810 allowing you to see your subject that much easier. Next, metering. Every picture that's taken by the D750 is analyzed by 91,000 pixels in its RGB sensor, which is so accurate it can help focus and expose for a subject because it can actually recognize a human face. As far as D movie mode is concerned, every single video feature found in the D810 is also found in the D750, including full 1080p at 60 frames per second, zebra stripes, auto ISO, flat picture control, and even FX and DX crop modes while in live view. For a videographer who wants a smaller and lighter DSLR, the D750 should be at the top of their list. Next, Xspeed 4. Why do a lot of people shoot full frame? It usually comes down to image quality, especially image quality at higher ISOs. When you combine the new 24 megapixel CMOS sensor and Xspeed 4 image processor, you're going to be amazed at the quality when shooting ISO 3200 and above. With Xspeed 4, you also get great battery life, over 1230 shots per charge. If you use the new MBD16 battery grip, not only do you get better ergonomics, but over 2500 shots per charge as well. Next, the D750 has a built-in flash commander. Having a built-in flash that works as a commander means you can wirelessly control your remote flashes without having to spend extra money on a commander flash. You can see how much of a difference this makes when shooting portraits outdoors. Normally, without a flash, you have the choice of exposing for the subject and having the background be too bright and not saturated enough. If you expose for the background, obviously the subject will have too many shadows on them. But by using the built-in flash as a commander and using one SB700 as a remote, you're able to expose for the background while adding a nice amount of light to the subject. Along with a new tilting screen, there's a few other differences from Nikon's other full-frame DSLRs. The D750 is a great action camera as well, thanks not only to the 51-point autofocus system, but also the fact that it shoots at 6.5 frames per second. Whether you're shooting a major sporting event or just having a great time with friends and family, the D750's got what you need. Now we all know that people use their smartphones for taking a lot of photos thanks to the convenience of it. Now that the D750 has built-in Wi-Fi, 
you're able to transfer your amazing quality photos directly to your iOS or Android device using Nikon's free wireless app. You choose whether you want to take control of the camera to take a family portrait by getting a live preview directly on your smart device. Or download select images you've taken on a day trip, sending them off to your social media sites like you normally would. Thanks for joining me to learn more about Nikon's new D750, and for more information, please visit Nikon.ca.